Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to be uh, rating on from a scale of one to ten on hamster pictures on mine. So let's go ahead. So I think I'm just gonna look up hamster and then we'll go to images. So here we go. Okay. So I probably will go like through these. I'm not doing dead. I, there is no way I am doing that. So we'll just go to pet and we'll just do a few. So this one's called a fancy bear hamster. I think it is so cute, but I will say he is really cute, just, yeah. I don't I don't wanna be like rude about it because I don't know, this could be somebody's, this could be what somebody's hamster looks like. So, you know, I don't wanna be rude, but I give this probably an eight out of 10, but he's really cute. Or she, I don't know, you never know. Yeah, it's a female. Because if you look over here, it says female. So, she's really cute, so I give her an eight out of 10 white winter hamster and it is a female so i <laughs> she's really cute uh, a white winter hamster is a looks like a really good species so yeah 10 out of 10. short-haired hamster um it's short-haired hamsters are really cute one good thing that's really good about them is how uh it you don't have to brush them because they are well short haired so it makes it really easy and you don't really have to brush them so he or she is really cute okay so this isn't really like a a hamster but i just love the sign it's so cute beware of the hamster uh, anyone who has a hamster should probably put this like by their hamster's cage because it's so cute and funny. So, yeah. Okay, now we'll go to cages and read some cages. Okay. So, I think this is a really cute cage. Uh, this probably it would be more for like a dwarf hamster. Now, I am not like a hamster expert. But I would just think that this is probably good for a dwarf. I have a dwarf hamster, so this is probably good. I like how they can go up, and that's where their, I'm assuming, food and water is. They have their little hideout, and then their wheel. So I'll probably give this a 7 out of 10. So yeah, okay, sorry, you probably don't want to see that, okay. But yeah, I'll just scroll through these. I don't want to click on it and accidentally buy one. Like, what does that This is really cute. I have a similar one. Those are good ones for dwarf hamsters. And yeah. Okay. We are going to go to 10 gallon. I wonder what 10 gallon. Oh, uh, probably just other cages. Oh, what a gerbil. Hold on. No. All. Oh. Images. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Dwarf. Okay. Here are dwarf. Oh, this is winter white dwarf hamster. This is what my hamster looks like, Hazel. Uh, so yeah, but let's go back and look at some more. Very cute, 10 out of 10. Dwarf hamsters, they don't live as long as normal hamsters, but they are still really cute. Oh, that is so cute. That is probably more of like a 
baby baby dwarf hamster. Dwarf hamsters, you can get them as babies, like, or grown, but they still will be smaller than the average hamster. So this is what Hazel looks like, 10 out of 10, obviously. Um, and Hazel is still a baby, but, like, she's not a baby baby, but she is still, like, a baby. A lot of dwarf hamsters just, they look like this, so most dwarf hamsters you will get will probably look like Hazel, just look like uh, baby hamsters oh they're so small yeah oh wow that's a lot <laughs> okay look they're so tiny and cute oh, now I want one of course that's so cute I think this is what they look like when they're first born. Like, I don't think they have any, like, hair on them. But, yeah. Thanks for watching, and come back next time. Bye!